Good morning, everybody. We're on Trans Canada Highway in Manitoba, just about at the Ontario border, headed east. I gotta pick up a load of lumber nearby here and bring it on down into Minnesota. It's already the afternoon. I went home for the night and uh, slept a little bit longer there than I was planning to at first, but no regrets. We have all day to pick up this freight, well, all afternoon yet, and then I'm delivering it tomorrow morning in Brainerd, Minnesota. Scale house is open, the Ontario border here on the Manitoba side. They wanna see how fat you are before you leave the province. They wanna make sure that you're well fed going into Northern Ontario. I have an empty step deck behind me, so the only thing they're gonna want from me is to uh, read my plate, my stickers on the side of the truck, make sure that everything's up to date with my IFTA, make sure I've got insurance, and make sure that there's uh, you know nothing loose on my trailer that could fly off into traffic. You know, the basic stuff. And if they want to see me closer, they'll pull me in. But let's uh, let's hope that just getting a good look at me will be enough. I don't really want to waste time. Got nothing to hide, so going inside would be a waste of my time.
trucks lined up in front of me. Nope, three now. They brought one in. Probably about four or five that are being loaded right now. Then I got three trucks in front of me and then me. So it's going to be a little bit of a wait. They usually load us up pretty quick here, so it's not going to be like all afternoon. But the earlier you get here, the better. I came here a little later today. It's my own fault, but we'll get loaded. And then uh, from here, I want to head straight down to Brainerd. I know that there's been some issues with our customs papers uh, today and yesterday, I think. I think they got that all sorted out, though. So if there is going to be issues, uh, the load might not be able to cross through here at International Falls tonight. But I, I think they got it all resolved and figured out how... The, the broker, I think, is having an issue on their end. So I think they got it all worked out that once I leave here, I should be able to go straight down there. I'll get down to Brainerd late tonight and then unload tomorrow and figure out what we can can do to get ourselves home from there if i gotta come home empty or uh, if there's a load nearby there i can pick up and drag home it's been a bit of a slow week these weeks happen especially this time of year i mean we're coming up to christmas so it's gonna get busier and busier and then right after christmas is when it just <clears throat> usually i mean just from my own observations i'm not an industry expert when it comes to when it's busy and when it's not all i know is that they always keep us busy they always find us something to do Sometimes they just got to look a, a little bit longer or harder, but I've never had to sit anywhere anywhere waiting for an excessive amount of time. I usually know what I'm doing before I even get to the destination of the load I'm currently hauling. Very rarely do I not know what I'm doing next when I'm dropping off a load already. So uh, that's very good because then you drop off the load, you roll up your straps, you put all your equipment away, and then boom, you can shoot off to your next deliver or your next pickup. You know waiting. That's usually how it goes. But uh, things are going good up here anyways. I hear that in some areas of uh, the US that they keep saying freight's slow and that rates are low. But honestly, people have been saying that for as long as I've been driving, since 2006. They've always said, oh, freight rates are low and it's slow. And I think that in certain regions it may be slower than others. Maybe that's why. It's just different regions slow down at different times. But we're always busy, always busy. <laughs> Even today, when I say, oh, it's a bit of a slow week, I mean, I'm still moving. I still got stuff to do. I'm still got freight on. But I guess it's just sometimes you don't have, like, multiple people throwing freight at you and you sort of get to pick and choose. Sometimes you just can't be as choosy, but we're still doing good. Hopefully they get these guys loaded quickly in front of me because after I'm loaded, I have to get my paperwork and then I have to send that into the office yet so they can get it cleared for customs before they go home. My dispatch goes home at, uh, well, between 4 and 5 p.m. That's when they go home. Okay. It's after that time. I don't know what we're going to do. I might be delivering it tomorrow then, like uh, later tomorrow. But the receiver only receives till noon as far as I know, so we might not even get it off tomorrow then. It might be a Monday delivery then. Yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll cross our fingers, cross our toes, and... What? You know, everything on my phone gives me uh, a notification. And I turn all the notifications off, and somehow they get turned back on. Like, all my games that I have downloaded here, they're always, like, send me a notification. Oh, don't forget to come back and play some more. Like... Oh, we've lost our sunlight, but that's no surprise. It is wintertime. Or late autumn. It's almost wintertime. All wrapped up, ready to go. It's not too cold out tonight, so that's nice. It's cold, but it's not that cold. Depending on what your threshold of cold is, what does cold mean to you? When someone tells you it's cold outside, what temperature do you think it is? Let me know down below. When I say it's cold, it's minus 30. We're still waiting for confirmation that my load is cleared at International Falls to cross the border. But uh, uh, I usually don't know by the time I leave here anyways. The goal is to get down to Brainerd tonight because the customer down there only unloads between uh, 7 a.m. and noon tomorrow. So I'd like to go right to the customer and sleep there so that I'm 
in the door first thing, right? And it looks like it's late outside right now. It's only, it's just before 6 p.m. Hopefully it'll be smooth sailing all the way down and no issues. Usually my load would get cleared for the border. Uh, it's a couple of hours down to International Falls. By the time I get there, it's usually cleared already. So if anything goes wrong and I can't get across the border tonight, I'm not getting this load delivered tomorrow. deal with that when that issue presents itself if it does hopefully not I'm looking forward to the daylight hours getting longer already December 21st shortest day of the year and then the 21st 23rd 24th and on Christmas Day the days start getting longer again daylight hours change of plans unfortunately my load didn't get cleared tonight for the border uh, a little issue with uh, the broker or something o out of our control anyways that means that I wouldn't be able to make uh, or get this delivered before they close down tomorrow at noon because they close at noon for some reason on uh, Fridays so the next available delivery appointment is Monday morning so I turned around at a u-turn came back home we're gonna go park this trailer bring old blue to the shop and we're gonna head out on Sunday so that I can deliver this thing first thing Monday morning it's kind of a bummer kind of wasted a bunch of time today I could have been sitting at home already but uh, that's trucking, right? It just it doesn't always go the way you plan. It was out of our control. So I'm glad that we at least realized that at a point where I could still turn around and come home. Because if we would have only realized this when I got all the way down to the border, I would have been stuck sitting there all weekend. Or I would have gotten through tomorrow but I would have been stuck down in Brainerd all weekend then unable to deliver to Monday morning and I would have missed the weekend here at home. And Britt and I have some plans this weekend. We're going to uh, another Cirque du Soleil event in Winnipeg on Saturday and we have uh, some family get togethers. On Sunday, we're setting up a Christmas tree for Britt's aunt and uncle. So uh, special weekend, getting close to Christmas every weekend is special. So I turn myself around, here we go, it's the way it's gonna be. We'll leave Sunday afternoon. It is what it is. Well, I took a gamble and I lost. Gambling's bad, okay. They told me that my paperwork might not clear at International Falls at the border on time. And uh, if the paperwork didn't clear, like the broker was having some issues with with their systems. So everything was sort of backlogged and behind and wasn't our fault. But uh, they said it might not clear. And I knew that if it didn't clear that night that uh, I wasn't going to make my delivery for the next day. I had to be there by noon. And if I had to wait there until, you know, sometime the next day, I wasn't going to make it. And then I'd be stuck down there for the whole weekend. So they gave me the option before I even left, saying, you know what, you could just take it home and you can deliver it first thing Monday morning, make sure your paperwork is cleared. But I sort of wanted to get a head start on next week and I wanted to deliver it this week. So I said, you know what, I'll take the chance, I'll start heading towards the border and uh, I'm sure it'll clear by the time I get there. Well, I got down to Finland, Ontario. <clears throat> yeah, we have a Finland in Canada. It's a very small town. Uh, I got down to Finland. And I was talking with them, and they said, no, you know what, the paperwork's not going to clear tonight, man. So I pulled a U-turn, and I came back home. And uh, I'm still under the load, or it's still assigned to me. 
I'm going to be leaving uh, Sunday with it to deliver Monday morning. Uh, the paperwork is now cleared, but it only got cleared today. So today is uh, Saturday already, and that, that was Thursday. So it didn't even get cleared the next day. It got cleared today. So it's a good thing. I would have been waiting down there at the border at International Falls till today to cross and then have to deliver Monday morning anyway in Brainerd. And I couldn't miss this weekend at home, right, Chevy? We're going to see Christmas Cirque du Soleil. Big date night. Well, me and Mom got a big date night. You, you can hang out here with the boys, right? That was a bit of a bummer, but it, eh, whatever. We'll get it done next week. That's why I'm at home. I'll show you what my projects are for uh, this weekend here at the house, and we're painting. I painted these doors. Uh, there's one here, one here. I gotta paint the other side of these yet, and the closet doors. Uh, we're doing all the well. We're doing the whole house eventually, but we're starting with all the doors, painting them white, painting all the trim, because uh, in many places here there's uh, paints chipping. It's getting old, you know, we want to update everything. And uh, I'm going to paint the living room here. But first, I'm getting the nursery ready. That uh, room that I just showed you back there is going to be the baby nursery when the baby's born. So, uh, getting it ready. We're painting it, uh, I believe, a, a light gray. Britt knows the exact color. We went and bought all the paint yesterday. Uh, so, I got started on that. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, Sort of didn't get much done today, but the next day is another day. <laughs> we'll see you later.